Hey guys, my name is David Lefevre. I'm the chef and owner of Fishing with Dynamite, Oyster Bar and Seafood Restaurant. Today I'm going to show you guys how to open, shuck, and serve live sea urchin from Santa Barbara. First thing that we do is we're going to take the sea urchin and I'm going to just show you a close up of it. You can see the needles are moving. This guy's alive. He's just been taken out of the water. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to turn it over and you can see the mouth right there. These, this beak that we call it, those five points, are the area that I'm going to use to open this up and go inside and get the gonads, the part that we eat. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a scissors, I'm going to poke right through the lining there, cut about a centimeter in to the actual shell, and then cut a circle around the sea urchin to make one large hole. You can see those, it's pretty brittle. The, you also see that the, the, the spikes and the spines on the outside, they're moving around right now because this animal's slive. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that mouth. That's the actual inside of the mouth, or the beak that we call it. I'm going to take that out and I'm going to turn this over and uh, whatever the sea urchin it eats is going to be inside. Now normally that's kelp. These are found in kelp beds. These are outside of Santa Barbara. So I'm going to turn this over and you're going to see seawater and kelp and part of the stomach lining come out. I've got some row right here and some row right there. I'm going to cut right between those two and I'm going to go all the way to the top, to the center. Now I'm going to turn it and I'm going to go between two other pieces of row. And because there's five pieces, you can't do it just in half. It has to be just a little bit off center. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take our spoon and I'm just going to move some of those stomach and the lining to the side. And now this other one is already partially exposed just from the way I cut it. I'm just going to move a little bit of that stomach lining out of the way. Okay. After that, I'm going to take the other side of the spoon and I've got some shaved ice and some ice water here, very, very cold. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop that row into the ice water. And all you have to do is just scoop right underneath and right along the shell and the whole piece come right out. Now you can see there's a little bit of that kale on there and a little bit of spine from the cutting. That's why we're going to put it in some water right now. And we're going to let that sit for a few minutes just to firm up and to rinse some of that stuff off of it. Now I'm very careful and I'm using gloves because these spines, they'll actually, some of them are pretty sharp. They'll get into your hand and it doesn't really, doesn't hurt too much, but it, you know, after a couple of days, it's almost like a slipper. I've got the five pieces of row inside that ice water getting cold. And now what we have to do is we have to take that row and we have to clean up all the, any particles or any pieces of stomach lining. So I'm going to take a, a nice piece of linen and I'm just going to fold it into four. Right, and the reason I do this is, is all those little pieces tend to stick to the linen very nicely. So I'm going to take that first piece of row. I'm going to turn it in and get all that excess water back into the other, back into the bowl. And then I'm going to take this up here and you can see that there's some pieces attached. So I'm just taking a wooden skewer. You can use a, a knife too if you want. And I'm just taking those pieces off and letting them stick right to the linen. We're going to look at the other side and all I'm going to do is just get a quick scrape of any ice or anything that's, that's on there. I'm going to take that piece, put it right onto some shaved ice. Another piece. That's a beautiful piece right there. You know, in Europe, especially in Italy, they'll take, this, uh, they'll take the sea urchin and they'll just toss it in pasta right at the end. It'll make it very, very creamy. The flavor that you're going to get is going to be very... Um, briny, and that's a fancy term that we use for salty, um, oceanic, fresh, um, very creamy. So right there, we've got the five pieces of roe from the urchin, and that thing's, what, four, five, six, I don't know how long I've been talking for, but it's literally just been alive. Right now, it's sitting there on the ice, and we're ready to, ready to just scoop it up and slurp it away.